Peace and greetings, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be making a uh, CC1101 um, radio device, we'll say, um, because it has a lot of different features um, that you can control in a serial terminal app like this or your computer. Um, but basically what it does is for, I don't know, about $5 and maybe like a you know, 20 to $50 Android phone. Um, it acts as like an analog SDR, <clears throat> which is a software defined radio. And it basically can read, um, scan, manipulate. You can um, really reconfigure the radio to um, different frequencies between 300 and 900 megahertz, which um, a lot of different wireless devices uh, use. As from anything from uh, garage key opener um, to other types of like remote kind of control devices to um, even, let's see if I have my keys, but even a key fob, even a key car, even a uh, car key key fob, um, it can read and do replays of such and um, even uh, jam if that's part of your educational <laughs> testing um, but just want to say um, you know how you use this is really up to you um, it's open source <clears throat> i'll put the uh, links down below also uh, where to uh, get uh, some of these parts and tools if you want to make it uh, yourself um, but remember this is really only for educational use, um, may or may not be illegal. Um, so do whatever you want. Thanks. All right, so here we are with the finished product. All right, so I'll <clears throat> put the link down in the description, but this is the open source um, project that you're gonna wanna go to. It's called CC1101 Tool. And it works with um, various different microcontrollers, works with the Arduino Pro Micro, um, obviously the D1 Ramos Mini, um, really any ESP8266, uh, um, any uh, ESP32, <clears throat> it even works with um, the Raspberry Pico or any RP2040. Um, so yeah, it works with quite a lot. So you can go through and um, highly suggest uh, you, sorry, highly suggest you go through and read it all. And then you can see all the different functions because you're going to interact with the serial terminal for this. Um, so as you can see, you can set the, <clears throat> the radio um, settings the modulation, the megahertz, uh, really get into the nitty gritty. This is really an analog software defined radio. So anything you could do with um, an SDR, uh, you can do with this as well. Um, <clears throat> so you can see you have the enable or disable um, of receiving. Um, this can transmit, uh, this can jam, this can brute force um, certain uh, receivers. This can record, show, flush. Um, <clears throat> they can receive raw uh, signals. They could add, <clears throat> manually add raw uh, signals, um, play raw signals, save, um, load, really do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, all from like your phone or the serial. <clears throat> so you're going to go and see which board you have um, if you need specific wiring. And then whenever you are done with that, you go um, to Arduino and um, upload the code. Just make sure you... Just make sure you select uh, the right board and then um, select the right settings. 
and then uh, yeah just upload it and then you're good to go <clears throat> All right, so if you made it this far, uh, congratulations, you're almost done. So you're gonna wanna get um, an Android phone or you could use um, your computer, however you need to get um, to a serial terminal. Um, with this Android phone, I use the serial USB terminal app. <clears throat> so you're just gonna open that up and you're gonna plug into uh, whatever device you have so you can see um it says uh, usb detected and um <clears throat> if you're using this app this is how you do it you go to usb devices and then you'll see your device pop up um so yeah so you type in help and then it brings up just in case you forget from the github all the different options and features and different stuff you can do um so yeah you could take a look um <clears throat> and it's uh really interesting because you can then pull up um an app like this on a different device um, this is a software defined radio um app <clears throat> and you can just make sure that it's actually um, either transmitting or um, if you're trying to scan certain frequencies or trying to receive certain things, um, you can use an app like this um, to really dial in on a certain uh, frequency um, just to make sure um, your device is working. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> um, and then you can just... Uh, you know, mess around, and the code is open source, so um, I'm already on my own terms trying to mess around with it, and um, maybe make, make like a um, screen uh, user interface, um, because the terminal is cool, but um, I think a lot of people would like um, kind of like a display if you were out in the field or something, or <clears throat> you might not have an Android phone, um, because I think with iPhone, it's a little bit um, more difficult to get the serial terminal.